Hey, hear any good bachelor party jokes lately? I didn't laugh at any of them, Jack. <laughs> What's going on? Well, as of last night, my wedding to Carly was off. That's why I tripped out on the guys when they surprised me. But as of this morning, I'm happy to say that it's back on. Good for you, Jack. Well, nothing for Carly and me is ever going to be easy. Stuff's always going to get in our way, kind of like your brother. But we're going to do it right this time, Marco. Oh, I'm happy for you. Nah. And let me probably be the last to say it's about time. <laughs> no kidding. So, uh, anything new around here? Yeah, Paul Ryan was in, and he hasn't broken any laws yet, but it's just a matter of time. His obsession with linking James Stenbeck and Marshall Travers is getting more dangerous yeah, I know, every day. I know, I'll have a talk with him first chance I get, although I don't know when that's going to be. Well, you're going to be kind of busy today, though, huh? Yeah, which is why I need a favor from you. Anything, just name it. I got this with my wedding gifts at the Lakeview. I didn't come with a card, no one saw it delivered. Well, maybe, maybe it was delivered to a different event. Yeah, I get the feeling that's not it. Can Jeez. you have this traced? Jeez. Sure, yeah. Uh, you want to tell me what you're thinking, though? I have a sandwich left over from yesterday. No, not a sandwich. We want candy. Okay, here you go. Who's first? Me. me. I meant what I said before. I um, really wish I could have given you guys some privacy in that conversation. But in a sense, I'm, I'm kind of glad I heard what he had to say. That guy's got a lot of guts. And in what way? It's not real easy for a guy to admit when he's wrong. Oh. Well, you know, Jack isn't the only guy who can take back something he said. Subtle, Carly, very mm. subtle. Why don't you go to Molly and apologize to or admit that you were wrong? I'm not sure I was, not completely. Well, then open your heart. See where that takes you. I don't know if I can explain to you how it felt when I found out that Molly was the one who manipulated me into staying in Oakdale. As a very wise man once told me, it happened. It's over. You know, I really hate it when people throw my own words back in my face. Mm -hmm. I just want you to be happy. And I've seen you with Molly, and I think that you have a, a chance at that with her. I'll think about it, Carly. That's, that's the best I can do. Good. I'll be rooting for you. I'm sorry. When you showed up here last night, I certainly had no intention. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. First off, I'm a big boy, okay? I can take responsibility for everything that I did last night. And secondly, I'm not sorry, all right? So there's no reason for you to apologize. Are you serious? No regrets? If what happened last night ends up ruining our friendship, yeah, yeah, then I'm gonna feel bad. Same thing if it gets out. But I'm not going to tell you that I was sorry for making love to you. That sounds like a compliment. <laughs> I somehow it doesn't seem right to say thank you. I think it's best if we just stay out of each other's way for a while, all right? Mm-hmm. Good luck. You know, tonight. I'll make sure no one sees me on the way out, all right? about that, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Just give it to me straight. Is the wedding still off? Oh, no, no, it's on, cuz. Jack and I are getting married tonight. Ah! I knew it! I knew it! You stay 
stay right there. Don't you move a muscle. I'm in my car. I'll be right there. No, Molly. I'm just good. Oh, boy. This is not going to be easy. Proof, Miss Cabot. Here it is. But what makes you think that this baby shirt is from Julia? You remember when she paid me a little visit last time she was in town? There's a possibility she could be pregnant. But you haven't heard from her. I... Why would you think that? Right after she disappeared, she sent me a little gift. A stick from a home pregnancy test. Needless to say, it was positive. Oh, well, that does sound like Julia. But, but Jack, that stick could have been from anybody. Yeah, right. That's why I didn't say anything. Look, this baby shirt, that could be a mix-up. But just in case it did come from Julia, I think it's smart I know about it. All right, all right, all right. I'll get on it right away. Hopefully, I'll find out something before tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. But, um, call me on my cell phone, not at home. Oh, you haven't told Carly, huh? We've had enough problems for one day, Margot. We don't need this tripping us up. Keep you from having a happy day. This is your day. You should make the most of it. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'll be in touch. Ah! I never stopped believing in you guys for a second. Even when Jack said it was over, I knew that tonight would find its way to happen. I knew you guys would get married. You did? Yep. How? Faith, hope, and because I know what an incredible person you are. Congratulations again. Thank you. Mm. Thanks. Jack said you were a real help. I just pointed out to him that he would be making the biggest mistake of his life if he let you go. Oh. Oh, do you know how relieved I am? I am, too. For, for so many reasons. Because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to give you this. What do you say? You brought a present for me? Why? Because you appointed me your maid of honor? Because I love you? Go ahead. Open it. Oh, Molly. Oh, Molly. <laughs> magnificent. Uh, when I saw them in the store window, I just knew I had to get them for you, honey. Thank you. OK, that's the something new. This is the old borrowed envelope. It's all three. <laughs> Can't wait to see what it is. Jake's in my wedding. Honey, I just wish you and Jack as much happiness as we had. Oh, Molly. Oh, Molly. Thank you. Jack told me what happened with Mike, and I'm, I, I don't even know what to say. It's terrible. It, no. it's, it's horrible. No, 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 no. We are not going there today, okay? Not on your special day. I'm going to be fine, all right? That's all you need to know. Hey. You, you don't need to protect me. You hear me? If there's anything that I can do, is it anything only you need? thing that you can do for me today is be as happy and have as much fun as you possibly can have. Okay. Okay. But you know, if you don't want to fulfill your your maid of honor duties, I I understand. You're joking, right? No. Carly. Do you honestly believe that anything short of a natural disaster would keep me from standing up for you at your wedding? You are like my sister. No, you know what? It's beyond that. You and I, we're like heartmates, beating in rhythm. Your happiness is my happiness. 
and I will be there for you today, tomorrow, for as long as you need me for the rest of your life. I found these in the garbage outside of Carly's office. It's an obvious attempt to conceal evidence. Well, this is progress, Mr. Coleman, yeah. but I'm still not paying you. Why not? A bottle of champagne and a couple of plastic glasses does not prove that Carly and Craig slept together, and I wanted pictures. Well, pictures after the fact are an impossibility, okay, Rosanna? I, however, if it is more proof that you require, then I will do everything in my power to get you that proof. Thank you very much. I suggest you go. I'm on my way. Well, it looks like I've got you, Craig. The soon-to-be blushing bride as well. Excuse me, sir. Uh, the Mandelbaum Halloween party is on the penthouse floor. This room is reserved for a wedding tonight. A wedding? How delightful. How bloody. Delightful. 